good evening doctors our today's topic is rheumatoid arthritis good person rheumatoid arthritis so now i am going to explain firstly the definition or pass ho jaiye definition what is rheumatoid arthritis it's a systemic inflammatory disease which involve severe joint pain and systemic involvement here like uh, we are going to see synovial fluid synovial joint inflammation here and what are the causes causes nobody knows it's idiopathic idiopathic here the gene involvement is h l a d r 4 on chromosome number 6 what is pathophysiology of rheumatoid arthritis it's t cell mediated it's t cell mediated and uh, i written here how to remember the signs and symptoms it slides as represent here systemic s y s systemic systemic acd acd is anemia of chronic disease in case of anemia of chronic chronic disease it is normocytic or uh, endomorphic anemia okay what else here here we involve c felty syndrome felty syndrome what is it felty syndrome felty syndrome is a triad in which include neutropenia and rheumatoid arthritis and splenomegaly and another one is bouchner's deformity bouchner's deformity or we can say swan neck deformity b o u t o n i e r e s bouchner's deformity deformity or swan neck we can say swan neck a p i p in case of joint proximal interphalanges joints and there is ulnar deviation the hands like this in case of ulnar deviation there is ulnar deviation also deviation in case of rheumatoid arthritis i am going to draw a diagram and you can able to see what kind of ulnar deviation hands are going to be see this this is known as the ulnar deviation and in case of rheumatoid arthritis what was there the ratio of male and uh, women and male women is to 3 is to 1 if three women are affected male is one affected and l l indicates their location l o c a t i o n location like pips mcps wrist shoulder joint that's it to you all the er shoulder knee elbow joint hip joint hip joint is the most common involvement i i inflammatory uh, in flam matory it's inflammatory involvement inflammatory like swelling erythema erythema inflammation and c here is chronic it is chronic slice chronic chronic means morning stiffness morning stiffness which is more than 1 hour till 6 weeks or more than 6 weeks e is evidence evidence of trauma trauma any injury or no trauma okay so slight signs symptoms fear and how to diagnose a rheumatoid arthritis it's a technical diagnosis i put here seven criteria at least four of them must be present and it defines a rheumatoid arthritis okay in first what we see morning stiffness morning stiffness it's more than 1 hour more than 1 hour morning stiffness is they are more than 6 weeks 6 weeks till 6 weeks or maybe more than 6 weeks okay in case of uh, like a uh, swelling swelling more than 3 or 3 joints is known as uh, more than 6 weeks is also comes under the rheumatoid arthritis signs symptoms and swelling also same like symmetrical joints see metrical metrical joints 
also more than six weeks or six weeks. And there is a swelling, swelling of wrist joints, wrist, MCP, and these are more than six weeks also came under this criteria. Or what else? Rheumatoid nodules are H-E-U-M-A-T-O-I-D. Rheumatoid nodules. We are, we are going to find these subcutaneous cutaneous nodules on elbow. The most common site is elbow. And what else we are going to see? Like RA factor. RA factor is positive in this case. And uh, what else? Like uh, X-ray findings. X-ray findings like erosion. Erosion we are going to see in case of rheumatoid arthritis. So my dear friends, I hope till there it's clear. What is the initial diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis? It's X-ray. It's X-ray. And what is the most accurate? Most accurate one is uh, CT, CT scan. And what is the most specific and marker most accurate? Which one is it? Is anti a N T I N T C C P antibodies cyclic central interest phosphate antibodies. So my dear friends, I hope you hear I already explained how to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis and what is it and what are the technical criteria, what is the initial diagnosis, what is the most accurate rheumatoid arthritis is a disease, is a systemic disease which involves any part of our body, but joints which is not involved is DIP is not involved no involvement of dip it, it in heart it causes pericarditis pericarditis and what kind of fluid is fibrinous f i b r i o n o u s fibrinous fluid is there and uh, what kind of most common cancer which involved in rheumatoid is large granular lymphocytic leukemia is large granular lymphocytic Cytic leukemia. Okay, so till here it's clear. Now I'm going to come on treatment and how to treat the final step is treatment. In India also, I saw so many patients with rheumatoid arthritis, but in abroad, I saw so many patients, but in India also, but they are not diagnosed. They are already on painkiller, so many things, but not curing them. So, how to treat, my dear friends, treatment of choice, drug of choice, we can say DOC. Here the drug of choice in case of rheumatoid arthritis is MTX, it's methotrexate, it's an DMRD, disease modified rheumatoid drugs, okay, methotrexate and what else DMRD is, it's gold, it's chloroquine, C-H-L-O-R-O-Q-U-I-N-I-N-E, it's used in a uh, case of malaria, this drug and penicillamine, penicillamine, such drugs. And if this is not helpful, we can uh, go. Uh, methotrexate is polytrex brain name. Uh, dose is 7.5 mg, but we are going to use weekly. And we need to give folic acid. Why folic acid we are going to give? Because it inhibitor of liver enzymes also causes fibrosis. So we are not going to give more methotrexate so much time, long period of time. And we can give corticosteroids also. Corticosteroids like uh, prednisone, prednisolone, prednisolone. And uh, what else we are going to, if the patient is not responding to this, we can give uh, tumor necrotin uh, factor, alpha TNF, alpha uh, blockers, inhibitors we can say, inhibitors. Uh, what are these? Infliximab, infliximab. Genetic engineering, new uh, drugs, it's infliximab. And we can say Remicade, Remicade. This is a brand name Remicade, but it's a um, Infliximab. Okay, and what else we can use? Eta Nercept. Eta Nercept we can going to use and Adalimumab. Adalimumab. Okay, these drugs we can use and if a patient suffering from severe pain or pain, uh, we can uh, give analgesics like uh, Paracetamol, PCM, and uh, like uh, ibuprofen, yeah, ibuprofen we can going to use. And what else we need to give a patient tramadol? Tramadol we can use to control a pain. 
we can use aspirin aspirin we can uh, use uh, ibuprofen we are going to use a patient suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and hemophilia then we can going to use uh, ibuprofen that is very much safe in such cases so i hope uh, it's not a great deal till here it's clear about the indication of corticosteroids and prednisolone systemic uh, it's a mono neuritic multiplex it's mono mono neuritic multiplex m u l t i p l e x so my dear friends so if you are going to uh, learn this disease it's very easy but it's very interesting to uh, diagnose rheumatoid arthritis uh, i already diagnosed in india more than 30 patient with rheumatoid arthritis in my opd they are suffering from last 25 years joint pain so many things are uh, not in india but in europe also in us also when i am there in usa in uh, european countries like norway they are also i saw so many new cases which they are going to diagnose with rheumatoid arthritis with these criteria and this is a very systemic disease so my dear friends is there any cure for this disease no no cure is there is any specific treatment to treat this disease no specific treatment why because nobody knows the etiology no one knows the cause so we are going to treat here rheumatoid arthritis symptomatically if we are going to treat this disease is still the disease going to be progress so what is the main idea to treat according to my theory according to my practice i think you have to do exercises you have to change your lifestyle follow the diet also thank you my dear friends if you are going to uh, write any examination i hope this information is enough and you can use some material from books also and this will help you you can easily crack any examination any any examination okay thank you thank you my dear friends okay good night good night good night thank you